Hey everyone, I'm Ross Rostrup from Polygon, and this is the iOS Watchlist. First game up is Might and Magic Clash of Heroes, a puzzle game that brings in a lot of adventure RPG elements. You may be familiar of Clash of Heroes from the DS version. This is a port of that version, but the same gameplay concepts carry over. You're still commanding squads of classes from archers to wizards, trying to attack your foes using battle techniques with formations and strategy, and there's a lot involved in this game. The bad news is the controls are not perfect. The DS version felt a lot more responsive. This works, but it's definitely a little hit or miss. If you already played the DS version, you should probably just be happy with the DS version. It's not quite on the level of that one. But if you missed it entirely, this is only five bucks, which is a lot cheaper than the DS version was, and it's pretty cool. Next up, we have Half Inch Heist, an iPhone game where you steal a diamond and try not to get blown up by a rocket. Essentially, you are a diamond thief stealing a diamond. In this case, stealing the diamond is as simple as tapping it and dragging it. Unfortunately, getting the diamond out of the building is the bigger challenge. In this case, the building has pretty intense security. And essentially, you're just trying to drag the diamond around, avoiding, in this case, rocket. So, in this case, rockets you're trying to avoid. I did a very poor job at that. Uh, when you die, you actually can spend coins to continue from where you died. Uh, but those cost money. So the boss, you're dragging the diamond on his power gem, I guess. And he's sending out these... I don't know what they are, robotic bees? Oh, shit. So that's Half Inch Heist. I'm terrible at it, but that's okay, because it's a free-to-play game, and it costs me nothing to be terrible at it. And the last game this week is Wide Sky, a cutesy game featuring a hedgehog and adorable music. So Wide Sky stars this tiny little hedgehog with a scarf. Super adorable. There's definitely like an EC-style graphical component to this. Very handmade, very cutesy. This is a hedgehog. No, duh. Don't be taken in by his ridiculously tiny hands and feet. Oh. Uh, the controls are weird. I don't really know what I'm doing. They seem kind of arbitrary. I'm trying to shoot this rope out, but it seems to be shooting out in random directions. I don't really have any control over where it shoots out. The gyroscope seems a little forced, but it's kind of a cool art. Thing, and if you want to look like a cool art student on the subway, uh, this is a good way to do that. So that's it for the iOS watch list, and may all your apps be top grossing apps.